is is uh, I I wouldn't want you know in my, in my opinion Star Citizen to be the typical RPG looter game. You wouldn't want it to be a typical RPG looter. RPG looter. Okay. You know we're just loot is all over the damn you get place. To that thing up yeah. yeah. Now I don't I don't want that ah. for Star Citizen. Right. There you know. Thing up. Yeah, but I want some good interactive play. The ship is sideways. Yes. Yeah. Nobody's no. Nobody's gotten freaking exploration right yet. No. Sideways. No. Like exploration for for me, like I want to go out, find a derelict and run into an artifact somewhere <laughs> just laying somewhere just laying there right and then once i collect the artifact somebody reaches out to me and then there's a whole storyline behind me finding this artifact and then not knowing that i'm in danger you don't want to see that you don't want to see some something like that oh man nah. so then how do you envision the, the the typical RPG. Nah, I think this is that way too. This the scope is the scope is is much larger than that. Okay. Much larger, you know. Exploration should be exactly how you're doing it, mm. where you you, you, you should, like like for the for instance, right? At this mm. distance, right? You at high orbit, right? Yeah. So you you shoot out a ping. You should get limited information until you get in closer. Yes. Or you be able to shoot out a probe from your ship. Yeah, yeah I agree. It yeah. tells you at low and and as you get into orbit, right? Mm -hmm. You shouldn't even supposed to land on this moon until you get into a uh, low orbit. Find out what the situation is, what you're dealing with. Right. Plan for your for your your descent down. Get your proper armor. Get your type of weaponry because it tells you what type of animals and fauna is down there. Mm -hmm. Right. It tells you what type of plants and stuff or possible plants that you can find that you mm -hmm. can take samples for and take it back to the star base to get paid. You know, and because you scan the planet, you can get paid for the cartographics information. What type of system that it's okay. in? What type of atmosphere that it's in? You see? That's, so that yeah, you but have, if you don't want other people gameplay, that's really dangerous. Right. Well, see, you you're playing a space game with ships that have that capability. That's gonna have that capability. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You see. So then when you get down, when you get down, uh, it would be able to tell you what types of uh, uh, caves are mm. on the planet. So if you want to explore further on the planet, where you, you can explore further. And then there's certain dangers that comes along with that. Even the plants are dangerous. Even the, 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 the environment is dangerous. You see? Or if you choose to say, well, okay, I got enough information here that I can sell back to as car target fix, I can move on to the next planet. I don't need to go any further. You see, you can you can choose. You see, and if there's some things that you just so happen to stumble across, as mm -hmm. far as a, a special weapon or a downed soldier that has a 400 year old armor. Mm -hmm. or a unique weapon or a unique food or a unique uh, uh, ore that you can only find on this planet that can be so top dollar to the highest bidder you see mm -hmm. or then if you do want it to be mission based right let's say mm -hmm. if it's mission based where the mission giver say hey I need you to go over to this far distance planet that you've never been to before and search out this uh, particular area and then you run across a derelict ship or a cave or what have you and these are new places that you come across and then he say uh, uh, 
when you get there, that might be a bonus for you wait, if wait, you just don't wait, happen to wait, find wait, it. Wait, you see? Wait, mm -hmm. So that could be if you want to like find some actual loot, it should be mission based. But if you just want to do freelance exploration, that mm -hmm. should be at your own at, at enter at your own risk. Right. Okay. So I I agree with you 100%. Um the way the approach that Elite Dangerous took is is what I hope Star Citizen um will do it, right? And um the, in terms of scanning the planet or the moon to check out how the environment is, like things like will my ship's hull handle the environment once I land Fact. should be Fact. something you you need to consider need before to consider. you go. Right? Exactly. I like that. I think that's exactly cool. Right. Um exactly right. Yeah, like I think I think that should be a part of it. And I think that's the direction they may want to go to. And um but I know for a fact they, I mean, they already, they already mentioned, they already showed it through, showcased it through, um, the CitizenCon events, you know, the, the whole idea of artifacts and having a storyline based on it and stuff like that. You know, I, I feel like it's going to be a blend between the two. You know, you can go out and do explore your own exploration, which is not dependent on missions and you can make money that way. Right. You know, right. but for those that want to do the role playing and, go through stories they will have their own thing as well you know what i mean and i think that's the approach they should take and um yeah man i, I agree i agree 